Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to design three wonderful creative buttons with the hover effect. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create a button that looks like this. And then for the first button with the fold effect, when you hover, as you can see, when you hover, you have this fold effect. Okay. And then for the second button, we'll be creating a button that looks like this with the glowing effect when you hover, as you can see. And then for the top button, we'll be creating with a color filling effect like this. When you hover, you have this color filling effect. Okay, so without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In our elemental editing screen, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here. And then I'm going to select the place where container. I'm going to select this direction here. Come over here to where we have the minimal height. Change the unit from pixel to VH and give it the minimal height value of 100. I'm going to come over here, justify content to the center, and then align item to the center. I'm going to head over to our style option here, and then I'm going to change the background color from to black. Okay, now I'm going to go to our widget area and select the button widget. Now this is our button widget. Now I'm going to go to the style option where I'm going to tweak the button a little bit. So I'll just come over to the typography. Now for the font size, I'm going to change the unit from pixel to REM and give it a font size value of 1.5 REM. Okay, then I'm going to come over here to where we have the button padding and then I'm going to unlink this now to the top. I'm going to give it a value of 20 pixel to the right, 40 pixel to the bottom, 20 pixel and then to the left, 40 pixel as well. Okay, so now this is what we'll have here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over to my VS Code Editor, we have written the code that will stylize this button for us. Okay, so now this is the code. Now, not to worry, this code will be made available in the comment section of this video for you to copy it and make use of it on your project for free. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here and then I'm going to copy out our code. Then I'm going to go back here. Now, I'm come over to this container here, go to the advanced settings and come down here to the custom CSS. Mind you, this feature is only available on the Elementor Pro. So if you do not have the Elementor Pro, there is a link in the description of this video where you can get the Elementor Pro. Okay, so I'm just going to paste our code here. Now you can see that nothing has happened here. That is because we haven't added our CSS class to this button. So I'm just going to copy out the CSS class, which is this, the BTN. Copy it out and then we'll go head over to the button. Then I'll come over to the advanced settings to where we'll have the CSS classes and then I'll paste the CSS class here. Now you can see our effect has taken place on our button and then when you hover, you can see this fold effect on hover. Okay. All right, so now in a situation where you're working on a project that has a white background or any other color kind of background other than black background, you can go about tweaking it, this format. So you just come over to where we have our code, come down here to the custom CSS. Now, you're going to come over to this section here. Now, take for instance, we have a white background. Now, I'm going to change this to a white background. Then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, this is this our container now is now white background. Now, when you hover, you can see what we have here. It doesn't blend well. So, in order to make it blend well with whatever background you're working with, you just come over here, come down to where we have the code. And then you come over here where you see this color here. You're just going to change it to white color, the same as the background. And then we're going to change here as well to white. And then when you come over now, you hover, you see it blends properly. And also this thing, likewise, you have another color. Take for instance, we are working with another color. Let's see a color that looks like um, this. Okay. This is an awful color, but let's just work with it. I'll come over here. We'll come over to our custom CSS and then we'll come down here and then we're just going to paste the color code for the background here. And then we're going to come over here and paste the same color code here as well. And then you can check it out and see it blends perfectly well. Okay, so that's pretty much it about this particular button design. Now head over to the next button design that I will be showing you. In order not to make this video very long, we'll be using the same settings we used in our previous um, button design which is the same as the button styling come over here you can see we have it 1.5 rem and then with the padding here the same same as the container here now what we're going to do here is we're just going to go to the container 
Here, go to the advanced settings, come down to here, we have the custom CSS code, just like we did in our previous button sample. Okay, so I'm going to head over to my VS Code editor, where I have the code written down for the second button design. So I'm just going to copy this out. And then I'm going to come over here and paste it here. Now you can see that nothing has happened here. Okay, so in order for it to happen, just like we did previously, we're just going to copy out this CSS class here and apply it on our button. So I'll come over to the button, go to the advanced settings and come down to where we have the CSS classes and then apply this to it. Now you can see now our effect has taken place on our button and then when you hover on the button, you now have this glowing button effect on hover. As you can see, it's wonderful effect. And you can come over here to the code. In the situation where you want to change the gradient color for the glowing effect of your button, you can do that here by changing this color code here to whatever color code you can you feel you want to use. And to help you in your gradient color selection, you can make use of this website called the cssgradient.io. Now this is where you can see your the background color, the gradient color combination here. You can just copy this out and then make use of it here. Okay, so that's pretty much it about this second button. So now let's head over to the third button design. The third and final button animation effect that I'll be showing you is the color filling effect on hover animation. Okay, so now we'll be making use of the same settings for uh, the button we've been using. So nothing has been changed. So now next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to head over to my VS Code Editor. We have already written out the code. Not to worry about these codes that I've been using. They will be all available on the comment section of this video for you to use for free on all any of your projects. All you just need to do is to copy it and paste it and make use of it and then tweak it to suit what project you're working on. Okay, so I'm just going to head over to my VS Code Editor. We have the code for the third button. I'm just going to copy this out. And then I'm going to come over here to our container. Then I'm going to come over to the custom CSS and I'm going to paste this out. Now you can see nothing has happened here. Just like we did before, we're just going to copy out this CSS class, my BTN. And then I'm going to come over to the button. Come down here to where we have the CSS classes and I'm going to add this class my btn now you can see now this is what we have here now when you hover on this this is the effect we're talking about the color filling effect as you can see okay so now you can just come over here if you want to change this color here to whatever color you want just to make it easy you come over to the container come down here to the custom css now we will have this here all you just need to do is to change the color to whatever color you want so we can just come over here and change this to ffcc00 and you can see we've changed the color here and you can see this is a wonderful effect you can tweak it and make use of it on your website and then suit whatever project you're working on okay so and so we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this video, remember to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it as well. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. Feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused or have any questions or suggestions and I'll do well to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.